the best of Nick Lowe bought from an Oxfam charity shop. If there was one man that brought music back down to earth in England in the mid 70s, it was Nick Lowe. He had played with pub rock pioneers Bringley Swartz, who were the first to record his classic song, What's So Funny About Peace, Love and Understanding. There are many versions of What's So Funny by many artists, but there is no definitive Nick Lowe version, so it is not on this album. Though the Elvis Costello version was the B-side to one of Nick Lowe's singles. After Bringley Swartz, he put out some very back-to-basics singles on the newly launched Stiff Records. Songs like So It Goes and Heart of the City. They were exciting tracks for exciting times. Simple pop rock songs simply recorded and released on an independent label. Famous for working on a shoestring. The change had begun, the dinosaurs' days were numbered. Some even went so far as going back to mono. It was the birth of indie. Nick Lowe produced the first and possibly best ever punk single, New Rose by the Damned. He produced Elvis Costello. He released a successful solo album and had a hit with the song I Loved the Sound of Breaking Glass. A song that is both quite adventurous with its sharp, cascading, breaking glass piano and Nile Rodgers-esque disco-chomping guitar, but also probably qualifies as a novelty record. His style is based around late 50s and early 60s guitar pop, making an art form of that which had been intended to be disposable and ephemeral. Think Del Shannon with Dwayne Eddy guitar solos. The song Half a Boy and Half a Man has some chirpy Sam the Sham organ, and Little Hitler has a Phil Spector wall of sound. He also likes to joke about with the lyrics. In the song Mary Provost, he sings about an actress who died alone in her flat with her dog. He sings, She was a winner that became the doggy's dinner. There is another song called Time Wounds All Heals. And of course, you've got to be cruel to be kind. He wrote some great no-nonsense rock and roll songs and teamed up with Dave Edmonds in a band they called Rockpile. He was the Jesus of cool, and he used to know the bride when she used to rock and roll. Nick Lowe, the best of.